Hello Aquarius, welcome to my channel, The Guided Intuitive, and thank you so much for being here. So I'm gonna do a read for you and that other person. I'm back, um, it's been a couple weeks, uh, and I had to take a little bit of a break, and uh, oh, it was much needed. I have been working my tail end off. Uh, you know, it's been a little crazy, okay? And as well as going through some sort of a, a spiritual ascension, I tell you, those symptoms have been kicking my butt, all right? A lot of you know what I'm talking about. It's uh, a lot of those symptoms uh, when you are going through not just a transformation, but that next that next level. We all go through that. You know, we all go through our different levels and, and that type of thing. But I got to tell you, this one was a real doozy. Uh, and I'm still feeling the after effects of it, so it's still happening. Um, so I've got at least another two, three, maybe four weeks uh, to go. But I had to get these out for you. <laughs> I miss all of you, uh, you know, for the two weeks. So I'm going to do you and that other person. This will be the 16th through the 31st of May. Um, I want to make sure I didn't drop any cards. Okay, I didn't. Okay, sorry about that. Um, so 16th through the 31st of May, you and the other person. The other person could be a significant other. It could be a friend or family member, it could be a spouse, it could even be a person of interest. So just note that in the process. Uh, and now keep in mind that this will be all Aquarius sun, moon, rising, as well as your Venus signs. And if you're not sure what those signs are, please check my complimentary link below and that will get you going. All right, plug in your data, it'll pop out those uh, uh, other signs, and then you can check out those other videos as it relates to those signs as I get them out, okay? <laughs> all right, all right, so let's do this. Let's see what's in store for you. We're gonna freestyle this. I don't know what's gonna come out. I'm gonna start uh, with my roomy cards, which are one of my faves. So we're gonna start with this. Uh, and I'm gonna get some Oracle and some wisdom coming out of here for you. Uh, and uh, we're gonna take it from there. I will pull the cards uh, in terms of relationship cards to see what it is that you might wanna say to that person and what that other person would like to say to you, okay? Sound good? <laughs> All right, so let's hop to it. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut the cards for you, Aquarius. What I was getting you know, through the process was magic. Now, this is funny. It was like, um, it's magic uh, and um, don't stop believing that it is not magic or that magic does not exist because it does. And what's interesting is that we get on our, you know, kind of on our, our, our pilot drive, right? We get in our, our autopilot days and, and in, you know, weeks and turns into months and we forget there is a lot of magic that can come into play that you can't plan and that the divine has in store for you. So I don't want you to forget that, okay? So really believe and have faith that miracles can happen and that magic does take place. And it can happen in any day, every moment, and every second, okay? So remember that, and it was something that came to mind. And I gotta tell you, when I was a little, and, and yeah, I don't care if I date myself, but it's a long time ago that I remember my parents, I remember hearing it on the radio and I was one of those kids that would take that wooden spoon and start singing all over the place and thinking that the couch and, you know, the love seat of the couch, all that stuff was my stage, right? Now, this is my stage <laughs> and I have you. So so the funny thing is, is that I remember, I remember hearing this song and I used to sing it. Uh, I think I was like three or something or two or I don't know what it was, but it's by Pilot. It's called It's Magic. So listen to the words and I want you to remember because that's what came to mind and it came back from a memory of, from childhood from hearing this song. So I thought I'd share it with you. So just keep that in mind, okay? So I'm going to cut the cards. Okay, blah, blah, blah. I'll stop right now, okay? <laughs> let's get to it. All right. So let's see what we've got going for you here. Oh, wow. We've got Hand of Fatima. This is what I'm saying when it comes to magic, okay? This is exactly what I'm saying, and I'm sorry for the glare there. So I want you to see that. The, the divine has a hand in this, has a hand in the wave of everything that's happening to you and on your journey, and I don't want you to forget that. That's what thing is kind of like, hey, I, I got your back. Hey, I hear you. Yes, I am there. And, and I think that's what the divine wants to wants you to remember and to know that, yes, you've got a hand in it. But guess what? The divine has a hand in it as well. And magic can happen. And, and to have faith that that can take place and have faith that things are getting better and, and to actually feel it in your bones. Okay. And that's one of the key things that kind of came up for me. And, uh, it's just, it's almost like, you know, giving the universe, you know, this high five. We are a team. 
divine, your source, whatever that is for you. We are here to work together. And this is actually uh, saying that you both had a hand in this working together to make your dreams, to make your miracles come into place and to make that magic happen. And this could be in a current relationship, whatever that is, but that's what's coming out for me. Okay. So that's what I'm seeing here. Uh, what else is coming out for you that we need to know here? Okay. We've got victory of Merim. Uh, this is great. This is great. This is kind of like the victor holding his or her, tor her torch, right? There's like this flame that's flaming through and it's almost as if that, you know, there's a, there's a person that's holding this torch and saying, I got this. I am going to make this my victory. You know, if this is a relationship, if this is whatever it is that you've got passion for, you know, um, you know, keep in mind that you might resonate with this. And then when I go to the other person, you might resonate with that, but you might just resonate from a message from either side. Just take what resonates and let everything else go that does not. You're, you're going to know what, it, what, you know, if it resonates. But this is a 41 card and the 41 card is saying this is change. Change is about bringing it on. I am the victor. It's almost as if um, you've gone through this uh, this uh, this transformation. You can kind of see like this almost as if you're in some sort of portal in some way, shape, or form, and you've come out the victor. And 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 yes, uh, there has been some some you know uh, some sparks, some flame that that has ignited within you. And I think that right now what's happening is that you've got some passion that's happening here that you're, you're moving towards, but it's almost as if that you're out, you're, you're getting through that transformation. You're getting through that uh, ascension and you're coming out the other side being the victor. Okay. That is what I'm seeing here. So there's a lot of, there's a lot of passion. There's a lot of fire. Uh, there is just, there is a mix of all the chakras together on this as well, but it's almost as if you're going into that next realm. And that's what I talk about when I'm, when I'm thinking of like the ascension, right? Uh, so that's what I, I see. You're kind of going, you're breaking out of the matrix and moving into the light and going to that next level for yourself. Uh, and this could be also, uh, breaking through the old patterns that you have, uh, maybe uh that 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 in the past may have served you at that time but at this moment now objectively looking back and looking as you are today it's not serving you whether it's you or the relationship whoever that is uh that it might be it's it's something that needs to go in order for you to become the victor but i think that you are becoming extremely successful at making that happen now, note your comments below. You might know what that means to you, but that's what's really coming out to me. Um, it's a five, which means, you know, it is all a lot about uh, a change. And then you go into the sixth, which is about growth, right? And seventh is that faith, right? That, that spirituality. So this is really great. It's like, I think the divine has a hand in this. You're working on this together and I think you're coming out the victor and you're making the change that's going to be necessary for you to work out this relationship situation or this situationship that you're in or what's ever brought you to my channel. So that's what I feel that's really coming through for you. What else is coming through for you here? Okay. What do we get? We get the sacred convergence. Oh, there's no doubt about this. This is the 11 card, right? It's just got the one and the one. So it could be about two people standing by each other and converging and, and using their energies and using um, their uh, psychic abilities and converging that and, and, and making something actually in quite beautiful here. And that's what I'm seeing happening. So there is this convergence that's not only happening within you to become whole in who you are, but I almost feel as if that you're converging with another and you're creating this, this fireball, like this confidence and this uh, passionate convergence that's coming together here. Um, what number is this? Uh, we, yeah, okay, well, I'm sorry. It's, it's 11. I don't know why. It was like, for some reason, I felt that I didn't say that, but it's quite interesting. So, uh, yeah, I mean, I think it's absolutely wonderful. So you've got the solar plexus, you've got, uh, the, using the, 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 the crown chakra, which is the deep purple, uh, the red is the root chakra. And then you've got the yellow, uh, which is your solar plexus, which is, uh, your determination, your will, you know, and, uh, your confidence. So I'm thinking that you're, you're, you're going through this and, 
It's, it's this, this sacred union that's converging within you, but it also can be with another. And it's a spiritual connection, okay? There's some sort of spiritual connection here that what I see happening, all right? What else wants to come through here? Okay, so we've got the, it's a 27 card, which makes it a nine coming to completion. How beautiful is this? So it's almost as if that you're coming out and, you know, it's almost as if here, like you're, you're raising the hand in triumph right? That you've beat whatever this is and you're moving forward. And that could be a breakthrough in a relationship, a breakthrough in you. Note your comments below. So you can actually better relate in a relationship. Uh, and then you create, there's this convergence that almost comes together like a, uh, um, a, a beautiful artistic uh, uh, kind of a, a ball of, of, of passionate warmth and, and fire. And it's almost like it, it's coming together and it's creating something and then you come out to be this, this, this angel, uh, this is angel uh, Razbar. And this is all about going with the flow, going with the flow and almost having this some sort of surrender type uh, uh, a feeling to this. It's almost as if you are surrendering to this convergence and yet you know that you're powerful in the process but you're let you're kind of going with the flow a little bit. Um, and I think that you know what your boundaries are in terms of, you know, how you're working with the divine. And, and now that because you have this knowing inside you, uh, you know, of coming out and triumphant on the other side and breaking through some old pattern that just wasn't working with you in the relationship uh, or whatever situation that you found yourself in, that's kind of what I'm seeing here. So, but it's coming out as almost as if, Ah, uh, I made it through and then it comes out so gracefully. So a nine, again, it's coming to fruition. It's coming to fruition. You go into the 10 and that's that new beginning. So some of you might be just at the tail end of this and it could have to do with a relationship. Okay. It could have to do with the relationship with yourself. Uh, or it could be the relationship that you're currently involved with or some sort of situation that you've come out of. And it's almost like what is surrounding you is this red and the, that, that, that orange. It's almost like it's at that root chakra and that sacral chakra. And the yellow is all that confidence surrounding that. So it's almost like that you're grounded. You're feeling more solid. Uh, you're taking that breath of fresh air and you're realizing that part of this is surrendering to the divine and not at all times uh, having to control things just on your own, but knowing that the universe has its hand in that whole process. And maybe that was the big lesson for you. Could have been that, letting you know that um, that control is not necessary. Uh, you already have this, you've already kind of gone through this learning and it's all about also is, is once you've learned to let go and, and let the divine work with you, you, you understand that there is that sacred convergence that's extremely powerful and you can allow to surrender because there is this uh, power in, 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 in the knowing now and in the growth that you have made to kind of go to that next level and that ascension. So let me know if you've experienced this. I'm going to go ahead and pass up and try to find out what's happened with this other person over here. Passion. <laughs> Not surprised. Okay, so this is talking about passion and the wild red mother. So this is about, this is about this other person, um, you know, having a lot of passion. Okay. This is, could be a lot of passion towards you, a lot of passion towards the relationship, uh, a lot of passion towards something that it is that they're working on. Maybe it's a creative project, whatever it is, but it's almost as if there is a lot of passion with this other person. Now, this is a, a 36 card, three plus six equals that nine, again, coming to fruition. So it's almost as if you're both kind of reached that point. You've come to fruition. Now you end with that. He start that's he or she, this other person on this other side starts out with that. Uh, but it's quite beautiful. Uh, and uh, yeah, it's, it's quite beautiful. So it's kind of like the passion in that uh, it's almost as if it's a, the passion is there, but it's also extremely nour nourishing and, and nurturing to each other in some way, shape or form. It's something that you both need. Uh, and you know, it could be in that, again, in that relationship, uh, or it could be just, you know, basically just having, uh, having this real, uh, deep, deep passion, uh, you know, in terms of moving forward. Okay. And then we get 
the 10, the new beginnings. So right after the nine, they moved to a 10, okay? And you know, it's almost as if this, this, this mesh of coming to completion kind of boils itself over. And then all of a sudden they come into this more of a uh, 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 kind of suited up type way in terms of, of moving forward with passion, uh, maturity moving forward with a lot more passion, but in a mature way. Uh, not in maybe a haphazard way, it may be in the past. So that might be something that you might be, ha, you know, be experiencing from this other person. And this is a 10, again, a brand new beginning. So it's almost as if that, uh, you know, I see that and it's almost the divine. It's almost as if that, that they, you can see that a lot of the stars in there and we are amongst the stars. So I think that this person is very spiritual and I think that, that, that they have gone to perhaps a, another level in their spirituality or perhaps realize their spirituality and are taking their passion, but they're honing in on it better. They are, uh, you know, uh, uh, kind of um, using it better uh, in, in a way that's not so, uh, you know, uh, haphazard, you know what I mean? That could cause trouble. This is actually something that's moving forward instead of a bunch of flames and, you know, moving forward and, 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 and being kind of a little bit, uh, kind of sp things are like spilled out a little bit. It's almost as if I feel that this is coming together and being suited up in a more mature way, moving forward with the help of the divine as well, and coming forward almost as if it's a single rose. So it could be uh, perhaps that this person was had a lot of other people in their life and it, it led to a sense of confusion and they themselves were going through a, tr a transformation and an ascension of some sort. Um, and now they're coming together, but they know that it's because of the work of the divine and they become closer to that. So this is interesting. What else? Yeah, the star mother. Yeah, the star mother Arrakis. This is beautiful. Remember I said the divine is that we are amongst the stars. Look what happens to come out. It's almost as if that that uh, they are seeing this type of, 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 of um, you know, kind of spiritual kind of awakening within them. And they have had to nurture themselves and perhaps seek a higher guidance, you know, in this process you know, to really gain that, uh, uh, that sense of power, um, and, and to really, uh, understand their powers and to use their powers wisely. This person on this other side is very spiritual. Okay. Very, very being connected with the divine and recognizing his or her gifts. And, and that's what I'm seeing over here. And it's about nurturing those gifts to use it in the right way. Okay. That is the key to use it in the right way. So what they are speaking and then what they are, uh, you know, their foundation, which is, you know, the root chakra is that, that reddish color here that you see here. And then you see the, the blue there, which is the throat chakra. So they're grounding themselves on their communication uh, as they move forward and then offer this uh, to you. So it's almost as if that's what I'm seeing here. So note your comments below. I'm going to pull another card for this person to see what wants to come up cosmic heart okay so this is beautiful remember like i said it's like they're giving you this one rose it's almost as if you know kind of like here so it's almost as if that now that that rose is almost representing their heart and they're trying to find a way to communicate how to communicate with this blue here how to communicate to you their love so uh, in some way, shape, or form. So note your comments below if this is the case. Now you might resonate more on one side than the other. So just note your comments below. But there is some, some, it's like they have, they feel that you are some sort of, that you nurture them that in some way, shape, or form. And it's, it's almost as if that uh, you're cosmically connected, that this is a divine connection, that you are together and you were brought together um, for some specific reason, uh, whether that is to be a, a uh, you know, a life, you know, uh, uh, a, you know, whatever that is. And who knows, uh, we let, I just kind of leave that up, up, up to you and, and up to the universe to decide. Um, but it's quite beautiful. It's, it's, it's about communicating and it's about, you know, really using their heart, their communication, and then also uh, having the confidence to, to really speak their truth of the heart. And I think that's key. So what is it, what this other person wants to say to you? And what do you want to say to this other person? Let's see what that is. Okay. Oh gosh. Okay. So what you want to say to them 
is when you don't communicate with me, I feel like I mean nothing to you. So that's what you want to say to them, Aquarius. So note your comments below if that is the case, okay? Uh, and, and this is a call. I mean, it's not a call to be heard more or, or taken more seriously because at this point you're just asking your, your partner to really appreciate uh, uh, the impact of them maybe not responding to you or feel like they're stonewalling you in some way, shape, or form because they're not responding to you. So when you don't communicate, I feel like I'm nothing to you. So that's what's coming through what you want to say to them. Uh, so let me see what else it is that you want to say to them before I go to the other side, okay? I was just reacting to you as if you were my mother, and I know that you are not. So, and it could go either way, mother or father here. So perhaps that you responded in a way that led you to go uh, off in a different direction and maybe perhaps react in more of a, a and, and, and check in with yourself, and, a, and this could be for some of you, maybe perhaps acting more childish way in some way, shape, or form. And when I say childish, you just childlike behavior that maybe that you had exhibited when you were younger but now at this time at this point in time in your life it doesn't serve you anymore and that could be one of the things that you're understanding and coming out triumphantly on okay and you're you're understanding that that is no longer uh, going to be something that you're going to put up with it, it, it could it could lead to a little bit more of a disarray and you're understanding that sometimes you need to surrender okay and so that's what's kind of coming into play but uh yeah so maybe perhaps that is the case so note your comments below what is it that this other person would like to say to you and sorry guys i didn't bring the camera down sorry about that i was just uh got busy <laughs> i got excited about your read so let's see what else uh Let's go ahead. I know I've been relentless and I can understand why you'd want to get away from me. So perhaps you going away had one particular reason, maybe acting out, you know, again, not being treated in a way that perhaps that you felt that you deserved. And uh, now that uh, you are stepping into your power into the uh, almost as if that energy of the Empress energy, right? And uh, this other person is really realizing this and saying, I know I've been relentless and I can understand why uh, the fact that you'd want to get away from me. Okay, so uh, in, in essence that, you know, maybe that move was, was uh, you know, a, a proper move. So note your comments below. Maybe it was something that, well, you know, kind of was necessary in some way, shape or form. Um, so this is about, you know, uh, really talking about um, you might feel uncomfortable with this person, you know, saying that to you. Um, but this person is almost, it's like somewhere between awkwardness and gratitude. I think that you can both find your way after hearing something like this. So that's, what's coming into play here. Okay. So let's see what else that this person would like to say to you. Let's see what that is. Here it is. I'm not blank who hurt you in the past. I am the blank who loves you now. Meaning, I am not the person who hurt you in the past. I am the person who loves you now. So, this person may have gone, like I had mentioned, through this change. Remember we talked about that? Um, this person was going through a, uh, a really transformation, going from a 9 to a 10, okay? And you can see this is a lot of change happening here, and it's all coming together. And then coming out... Uh, using the guidance, uh, you know, of the galaxies and the spiritual and the universe and their sixth sense, okay, their crown chakra, getting guidance from their divine coming into them. And this is what, uh, see, it says what happens, it goes from a nine, which is coming to fruition, a 10, which is a new beginning for this person. And then it comes through change, which is a, a 23 card. So this is that change that they're understanding going through spiritually. Uh, and then they get the eight card, the affinity symbol. <laughs> this is beautiful, right? And so what they're doing is taking from a below, above and they're using what's below and they're, they're kind of bringing that all together. And it's almost like all the chakra colors are all coming together here. You've got the green, the blues, the purples, and you've got the uh, root chakra and the solar plexus, all that's coming together, right? It's bringing that alignment, okay? And now it's coming together knowing how this person knows how he or she feels about you and stepping forward with that, okay? Um, so, and they're saying, I'm not that same person that I was before, okay? So that very much well could be the case, okay? So just note that. So uh, this person may have changed, okay? Uh, so maybe from a different way than they were before. 
uh, and take your time, you know, through this process. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move the camera down a little bit because I want you to be able to um, see these cards a little bit. So let me just move the camera down uh, the best that I can. Well, it's just going to have to go this way. I'll just move these over here. Okay, so it's just going to have to go this way right now. I got a new tripod. I got to work how to do this. It's, it's very tall, so it's kind of interesting. So, but there you have it. So let's gonna let's go ahead and point out what it is uh, that would help you through this process for both of you. What can help you through this process? Let's see what that looks like. Here it is for you. Gratitude. I am thankful for this life and the opportunities that it presents. Okay, very nice, very nice. Gratitude, the more gratitude that you put out, the more that you get in. And it's all about using this, the crown chakra and following your heart, guys. Following your heart is really huge. So definitely be grateful in this process. I think that that's going to be extremely key for you. Um, that's gonna be very, very big. And let's see what else wants to come through for you. Okay, we've got empathy. Okay, so I'm open to seeing both sides of the situation. So perhaps if this person uh, in some way, shape or form, um, you know, that you're working with, maybe that it's about really understanding that person as well as understanding yourself. Again, the root chakra and the crown chakra colors are in here. So maybe do a lot of clearing in that that's going to help out. But this is going to provide that empathy and gratitude. Uh, and really seeing both sides of the situation. Maybe there was just some miscommunication, guys. I mean, really, that could very much well be the case. So working on the communication skills is going to be key. What about this other person? Forgiveness. Acknowledging that really uh, harboring resentment blocks the flow of love. So in some way, shape, or form, uh, they were holding resentment in, you know, with you, uh, or for ha perhaps they couldn't forgive themselves uh, for in, in some way, shape, or form. So that's what's coming into play. So it's about communication and communicating forgiveness, whether that's you or the other person. But in this situation, it's going to take some forgiveness. There's no doubt. Uh, and you have to decide, is that forgiving that other person is that forgiving you? Um, because when you forgive, you know, you, when you forgive yourself, you automatically, you know, forgive all, you know, that other person and you get peace. Absolute peace is key. I'm a being, I'm a being of love and I release all negative energy. So it's almost as if that this person is purging that, uh, but also you both are coming together in making that happen. Because when that happens, this is about communication. Um, these are the blues in here. It's also about, you know, the solar plexus being more confident, uh, you know, kind of that type of thing. And anything more for Aquarius here? Success. Having success in this relationship and whatever that looks like together, uh, you know, and it could be, uh, uh, there's no, this is what this card is talking about, that there is no greater goal than to love. What a beautiful read, Aquarius, from the 16th through the 31st of May. This is gorgeous. So there is success here, okay? So if, so if, if, if something comes around where, you know, because it's almost as if you're both going through a transformation and you both become triumphant, okay? But there is some miscommunication here and that needs to be discussed with empathy, though, having the gratitude, forgiving each other, you know, achieving peace, but doing this whole thing through love, okay? Love. It's very, very important. So that's what I see for you. Uh, I look forward to seeing you in the month of June. And until then, Aquarius, namaste.